I don't know. It doesn't look like I have a neck sometimes. And I'm wondering if it's like this thing back here that like does it. I, I don't. It's bothering me. Oh no. Hey, what's up you guys? This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays and today on the Daily Grind, we're going to be talking about how to look cool on the battlefield. I know, frost pun, I had to shove it in there. All of those horns just make me a little bit horny for that kind of action. Regardless, um, this is kind of like a continuation of the conversation we had earlier this week that was snatched off of my head like a weave DE came by and gripped me by my edges and just ripped that shit off and ran away um, because of the whole deal with Obron's ferns. I know you guys probably already know the story already, but they did get, they got changed to something amazing, then they got changed to something else that was different and kind of good, but not quite as amazing. Um, but we're not gonna continue <laughs> that specific conversation here. Um, so backstory to kind of what I'm gonna be showing off here today is I've been playing a lot of Titania lately, um, grinding out a lot, a lot, a lot of focus. I'm just trying to stay on top of all of my focus gains because I want to make sure I have all of that for Planes of Eidolon and just, you know, just to be ready, just to be prepared for all of the, all of the stuff that's coming up soon. However, I was literally just in a public mission like I always do and I kept running into Frosts that were running Avalanche builds. And I just kept flying around with my butterflies trying to be like, oh, look at me, I'm cool on the battlefield too. Look at how good I look, like, swarming the field with butterflies. But really down deep in my soul, I was like, damn, Avalanche Frost is kind of like coming for my soul right now. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the build that I'm currently working with. Um, I do have like a little bit of a insight here. I am specifically using Prime Flow mainly because I have an Arcane Energize equipped on him and because of the fact that I'm using Icy Avalanche, um, I'm not really taking as much damage so I don't necessarily need something like um, Arcane Grace or uh, Arcane Guardian or anything to kind of like keep him pumped up and healed up because we are getting that extra coat of armor from Icy Avalanche. Now, if you guys don't know what Icy Avalanche is, basically it is an augment that grants you bonus, um, bonus, I guess you would say like a Rhino's eye Iron Shield, Iron Skin. Iron skin, that's what we're going with. Um, uh, based on the amount of enemies you hit and, you know, it spreads it across the group and whatnot. Uh, so, as you can see here, that's basically the build. This is what we're going to jump into in a mission. And it just looked really, really amazing and cool to me to the point where I was like, I gotta do that. See, you know what's really funny about this too is when I first jumped into... Um, into kind of like playing around with uh, the thought of, you know, environmental manipulation and whatnot. Um, I wasn't necessarily thinking about Frost. I did not really think about Frost at all when it came to that. Um, in in the back of my mind, you know, I was thinking more of like frames like Nuja. Uh, oh, see, look, he's got his doesn't look like carrots. God damn it! It's because he's green freaking energy. Um, regardless, like Frost was really not the kind of. Uh, was not the frame that I was thinking of when I was thinking of, you know, uh, coding the battlefield. But what I actually discovered as time went on is there are more and more frames that really have a major influence on the battlefield. And I'm not necessarily talking about like a major influence, like, ooh, they hit enemies hard, but just the cool factor of some of these frames. So I had talked about Saren Spores, but one of the things that I absolutely love seeing on the battlefield is freaking Resonance Banshee. Resonance Banshee is just the coolest thing to like ever pop up. You just see a whole, you just see a whole freaking like room filled with like lit up creatures, and literally if if you know all is all is going well and good, you can literally stack up a bunch of those sonars. And I mean, here's the thing, you know, great thing is they deal a fuck ton of damage, and they feel amazing for the team that you're with. But at the same time, you look like a motherfucking badass, and I'm kind of like super into that. I'm kind of really really into. Uh, really into that whole kind of like um, scene manipulation thing. Same thing goes for like when Nova tosses out a, when Nova tosses out a shit ton of, uh, let's just toss out one of these. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God, just I, oh no, now he's got his thing again. There you go, ugh. All right, there you go. Right into your butt. Jeez, that guy has so much armor, it's ridiculous. Um, Sorry, I got I, I got I got so in, I intensely focused, intensely focused on on the plan. But 
Um, like, literally, what it kind of boils down to is, is the fact that, um, there are some frames that when you go into the field, you're just like, what the fuck is going on, and why is this so goddamn cool? And that's exactly how I felt when, you know, we had the first run with Oberon, and then, of course, uh, when I was running around with Icy, uh, Icy Avalanche, Icy Avalanche Frost. Like, it, it was just such a cool feeling to, like, look around, and I don't know why I didn't think about it either, because I initially mentioned, um, I initially mentioned Atlas as being one of those frames with his Path of Statues, and I'm like, well, if Path of Statues is fucking cool, um, then goddamn, then goddamn Icy Avalanche is even better. It's not specifically Icy Avalanche, you could literally run that build, um, you could literally run that build with more power strength and take out Icy Avalanche, because it's not necessarily, you know, it's not necessarily a must. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, why wasn't I able to shoot? Uh, what is going- why can't I shoot? That is a, a very, very strange thing. <laughs> I was trying to shoot so bad, and it just wasn't happening. Listen, get out of there. Um, but yeah, like, it's it's one of those things that did not cross my mind when I thought about that. Or even um, Atlas, oh my god, I was playing PvP the other day. Don't, let's, let's not necessarily talk about <laughs> PvP, but uh, legitimately, um, what was going on, number one, I was definitely getting my ass whooped, but uh, number two, there was an Atlas that was running around and was definitely using Petrify, and I know, I know this person too, because I've, I've teamed up with them before, I've seen them, I've seen them um, in groups, and, and I've seen them in the, com I believe I've seen them in the comments, I I've seen them around, basically is what I'm saying. And they kept trying to freaking petrify me with goddamn, with goddamn, um, with petrify. And I was like, no, you are terrible. It was like the worst in the world. Um, but it was kind of absolutely hilarious and kind of continued that, that theme of having this crazy visual effect on the battlefield. And I don't know about the rest of you guys, but you know, like I play, like I said, I played Loki and there's a great feeling. There's a great feeling in your heart, you know, when you, uh, get a bunch of enemies and you irradiating disarm them and you just see them all irradiated and smacking away at each other with their sticks. It's always a great feeling, but you know, beyond that, there really, there really isn't too much. I remember, oh my god, do you remember back in the day, people, 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 if you remember, um, Old Ash's Blade Storm where everything would just go red? And I mean, it wouldn't necessarily make a lot of people happy, but it was just that cool effect of like, all right, uh, he'll take care of that over there. <laughs> That's clear, clearly that is that is his area. He has a uh, he wants to keep that area locked down. But look at this! I just make ice sculptures of everything. And I mean, I know I should probably be using the crit the crit area of this because literally when he freezes them, uh, he freezes them. Status effects don't really apply. But it's really, really cool because it, it's almost kind of like, you're like saying, hey, look at the CC shit I'm doing. Look at the CC shit I'm doing. I'm, you should you should be happy that you're on the team with me because I'm so cool. And um, same thing goes, same thing goes for Titania too, you know, like I'm still, I'm not hating on Titania. I still have tons of love for Titania, uh, at flo you know, flooding the field with Battlefield. It's always a really cool thing because Titania isn't one of those Warframes that you get straight out of the gate, you know. Um, you're not running around with, with a Titania, you know, super, super duper fast. But legitimately, um, it's always cool when, you know, you walk around and you're like, hey, check out how bad I, badass I am. And uh, the battlefield is just coated with butterflies. And they're like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't even understand how he's using an arc wing in the mission. And that's always like a really, really good feeling. I will almost, no, I don't want to say it. Okay, I'm going to say it. Um, it almost feels kind of like running into a mission with, uh, an Excalibur Prime and just leaving him in the default skin and just being like, look how cool I am. How okay, I want you guys to admit this. Maybe not necessarily, like, Excalibur Prime for anyone, but what about, like, you know, when you're, when you're in a group and you know that you're gonna be there with, like, new people, do you, do you try to show up just a little bit? Just try to show up just a little bit? Like, there's always a good feeling when you see, like, a Nova and she's coated the entire battlefield with a molecular prime because it looks... I... Are you, are you... Look at how cool I am! I don't know how that happened, but I think I just got 10,000 Kuva. <laughs> um... Well... Hooray!
<laughs> so, uh, I think maybe that's, uh, the way to end this video? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's a good place to end it. If we're talking about looking cool, that's not real, right? That's not, like, really a real thing. I don't even know how that could possibly happen. If I'm going to be 100% frank with you, I'm not even sure how that's a thing, but it happened. Regardless, um, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Icy Avalanche Frost. Do you like Avalanche? Or do you like Avalanche Frost, period? Because it doesn't have to be Icy Avalanche. Um, it could just be Avalanche Frost. Uh, do you like, um, any of the kind of, like, environmental effect Warframes, kind of like Nija, uh, to be able to, like, run around and bullet jump and leave huge trails of fire all over the place? You know, unpopular opinion. How do you feel about Oberon's Ferns? Do you like them better now? Do you like them better before? Did you like them in that weird intermittent period that I'm, like, super, super jazzed about that they ripped right off of my goddamn scalp? Let me know how you feel in the comments below. Are there any frames that you like using just to show off? And I'm not even talking about damage-wise. I'm just talking about style. Like, I'm talking about fashion frame on the battlefield. Regardless, um, I'm gonna leave that thought in your brain. Let me know how you feel about all of those in the comments below. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and I can't believe what just happened with that Kuva. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye bye